Welcome back to another video by Daddy Scarpa. Uh, today, like I said in yesterday's video, we're claiming all upgraded milestone players apart from Trossard. Um, I already did the Trossard card and here they are right now in the milestone. So we've got, for Straighten, we've got Gabrielson, which was uh, Soji. But obviously he's decided to move clubs, so they've obviously upgraded this guy. Then we've got Mo Gomez, and we've got the Politano card. Like I said in the last video, this one's only got one out of three, because I claimed these two quite a long time ago. Um, but yeah, we're going to have ten packs for you. We're going to go through all the upgraded status, making sure that it's all good. And uh, yeah, well, let's move on. Like I said, if you're liking the content, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, uh, comment down below if you've done any of these milestone players, um, if any of them are in your starting squad, did you put them into SBCs? Uh, yeah, if you could let me know in the comments below, that'd be brilliant. So we'll first start with Politano. So obviously, it, Politano wasn't hard in my opinion. Um, I thought it was quite a good one to do. You know, he's... 87 rated his um, second card and it was good card you know it could have fit into anybody's team um, if you wanted him to so this one is going to be a very big upgraded card so obviously four star four star high medium he's very short so obviously he gets all that pace and then we move into the pace so like you said 93 pace is brilliant then we go on to his shooting Shooting is very good. Obviously, penalties is irrelevant. Don't need to take the penalties, but his shot power, long shots are very good. Passing is very good all in the 80s. You know, 88 short passing, curving's 88 and crossing's 89. Very good for a winger. And then his dribbling is quality. Apart from a little bit low on composure, but balance and agility are amazing. Ball control is quality. Um, defending's irrelevant. And then, obviously, his stamina's very good. His aggression is average. So it's not a bad card. You know, he's got finesse shot, shot taker, and technical dribbler. So this card is very good. I do see this card in weekend league sometimes. Um, I definitely think it's worth you guys getting. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. Then we move on to the second one, which I will do the Bundesliga upgrade. Now, this one was a little bit difficulter. You had to assist five goals with through balls. You didn't have to win. Score two goals. You didn't have to win. And when they don't put a win on it, it's very, very good, um, in my opinion. Again, look, score two goals. So you could have done that in one match. You could have assisted five in one match. It's the top one, where you have to assist in six separate rival wins with a full Bundesliga team. Now, this is obviously the most difficult one out of the three objectives. Um, and I'll get on to one of them because I've got a comment from one YouTuber, uh, which I would like to mention in this video. Um, but yeah, we'll go on to him. So he's gone up to an 88 from an 86. He's three star, three star, five nine, high, high work rate. So it's not bad. You know, for a centre defensive mid, I see a lot of people position change this guy to striker, to cam. Just depends how you guys want to play him. You know, 85 pace for a midfielder is good. His shooting is not good apart from his shot power is brilliant and his penalties is amazing. Like I said, it isn't irrelevant because you don't have to take penalties with him. But with 99 penalties, I think he's going to be there. Your passing is very good apart from his curve. His long passing and his short passing are top tier. And then we move on to his dribbling, which is brilliant. You know, 93 agility, 92 balance. He's only got 85 composure, so that's not the greatest. But um, you can't really do anything about that. And then you go on to his defending, which is 90 interceptions and the rest is okay. And then his physical is brilliant. Apart from strength, it is brilliant. 95 jumping, 99 stamina. 99 aggression but only 76 strength you know it's I don't agree with that because I think aggression and strength should come in with the same thing you know Cristiano Ronaldo has low aggression um, but high strength I think 
and that doesn't make any sense but yeah but that's not him and then this guy dives into tackles and long passer trait so again i would recommend doing this one i personally think this one is a good card to do um but yeah just let me know if you guys have done this one or you're going to that one the next one is gabrielison now obviously it was soji and this one was very easy i did this one in exactly three matches so you have to score using him and he actually scored from a corner for me so that was brilliant but a lot of people i know have put him up front or let him take free kicks etc um, etc et so assist two goals again um, i put him on the corners after the first game so he was on the corners for the last two games um, he took the corner and did it that way and this one is keep a clean sheet in three rival wins using soji with 11 league one players in your starting squad now i had two rage quits um, and the third one went all the way a guy said i was very toxic um, because i decided to pass the ball around because i'm a possession guy i'm possession and attacking i don't really defend like pass it around the back but he thought i was he messaged me afterwards saying i was a toxic player and uh, all this that and the other but don't really care about people like you know you just block them so let's have a look at the card the card looks brilliant on the face of it so he's two star two star oh my goodness that's you know could have done at least three three EA yeah. and medium medium it should have been high defensive at least but six foot one very good stat you know his pace is brilliant 87 you know his acceleration is a little bit low with 82 but 87 pace is very very high and then he's shooting 90 shot power the rest is irrelevant you know he's passing for a center back to have 94 crossing i think ea have put that in the wrong you know they should have put short passing and long passing high up um but his passing's quite average you know long passing is not good short passing's okay anything above 80 is okay he's dribbling he's got 99 agility but 84 balance so his agility is amazing but his balance is you know okay over 80 um, his defending is very good apart from his defensive awareness I think it's top tier you know 89s and 92 for his slide tackles and his physical is very good again I don't understand this strength and aggression but you know 91 jumping 83 stamina 94 strength and 77 aggressive um, you know it's, it's a very good one and he has no traits so I think if you could link him into your team I would recommend him because I know Thiago Silva has better defensive and maybe better physical. I think he has a lot better pace. So if you did stick a shadow on this card, he would have 99. Um, almost 99 every. So he'd have 99 sprint speed and he'd have, what, 97, 98 acceleration. And then he would have near enough 99 everything on his defending. So this would be a brilliant, brilliant card to have in your um, team. And then we move on to the last one. So we're going to move on to Joe Mo Gomez, sorry. And I just want to just quickly, I'm just quickly going on to here. So a gentleman or a lady, I'm not 100% sure, called Claps YT on YouTube. Now he's messaged me and I appreciate this. You know, this is what I want you guys to do. Um, just very quickly. So you have to score three low driven shots. You have to assist seven goals with through balls. And then you have to score using the player in six separate rival wins. Now, this one took me quite a while. Out of all of them, this was the hardest one for me. I don't know why. It just took me a long time. I did play people that this gentleman or lady is going to um, explain in the, on the YouTube uh, comments. Um, but I struggled as well. So I don't want you guys to think that I've brushed through it. You know, I brushed through the French League one, but this one was very, very hard. So let's quickly get on to the comment um, just before I go through all of his in-game stats. So could you help me finish him? I'm having some difficulties. So obviously I messaged him back just saying, uh, what do you need help with, mate? And he said he can't score goals because I face off against try-hard teams and players that I'm just using that are low pace and can't shoot. I said regarding this now this is a big one so it's very hard because rivals is a very sweaty 
just like foot champs it's a very sweaty game mode where people they're toxic they just want to win so they'll do anything they can to win you know i changed my team to milestone help and nobody helped you know i thought that might people might see the name and they might say this so all i can recommend when you're doing these challenges all i can recommend is either permanently relegating yourself i know it goes against your record i've done it a few times so my record i don't really care about my record i haven't lost that many games it must be over 100 games i've quit um from foot champs to doing objectives because you relegate yourself and now i don't you know some people might say that's wrong and i do agree with it it's wrong but when you play like claps yt said when you're using 77 rated players i was using silvers 72 rated left backs because i didn't want to spend a lot of money buying berlin players for instance for the german league you know i understand where this person's coming from now all i can recommend is this and a few times i would put attribute cards on so they don't sell only the plus 10 sell and the plus sixes all of them so i just put an attribute card on the card um, a silver one for shooting passing physical anything just get rid of it just bump that player up a little bit you know they are silvers they are gold even if you're going out and buy the best players still put an attribute card on them you know i recommend very heavily that you either put the player up front score the goal then sub him off but use your best team so for instance use your team that you would use for anything else so use that one that you would use for foot champions or you would use for um, your main team and just put the one player yeah it might be off chem if you don't have any legends it your player might be off chem but for instance if you're using mo gomez try and find a spanish player but obviously some people don't have spanish players in their team so it makes things difficult but if you just put the player up front change the manager to that league or that nation to get him a little bit more of a boost that's brilliant because then that helps you out in the long run but that's all i can recommend guys you know it's very difficult i don't really like rivals and they've just made out all these new objectives for rivals um because it's just very sweaty you know i relegate myself and then work my way all the way back to the top because i never use my main team on rivals because you are stuck in this game mode but i had to do in the milestones normally when i do milestones i use a different team but i had to use my main team because of how hard this objective was getting you know and this one you have to use 11 bundesliga players 11 la liga players 11 french league players and if you've only got silvers and bronzes it's very very difficult to do in higher divisions um, but yeah, like I said, if you ever need any help like that, I appreciate Claps YT. Uh, you know, message me on the um, YouTube. I'm always here to help. You know, I try my best. I am going to try and get social media so it's easier to message me. Um, so yeah, right, let's move on now. So thank you very much. So we've got Mo Gomez. So 82 pace is uh, okay. Go on to his shooting. He's got 88 finishing, 89 long shots, which is very good. This guy's shooting is brilliant in game even his 86 one he was banging shots from outside the box it was brilliant then his passing free kick is irrelevant the rest is top tier top tier 94 curving 89 long passing 93 short passing 89 crossing and then 84 vision his dribbling is very good apart from his reactions and composure you know 90 agility 90 balance 90 ball control 89 dribbling but then his reactions and composure is 79 each which I don't agree with. His other card is less, and he was very good at reactions and composure. One on one, he would finish anything. He was very good. Defending is not, you know, the best, but unless you're using him as a centre defensive mid, which I wouldn't recommend, you can obviously change your chem style to boost that up. And then his physical, 94 stamina, 90 jumping is good, and his strength and his aggression is. See, strength and aggression is the, around the same. But it isn't for other players. You know, I just don't agree with that, what EA are doing. And then his traits, he's got the long passer trait on. So there we go, guys. There's your 
four upgraded milestone players that I've worked for. There is no more milestones. Has EA decided not to put any out for team of the season so far? And then you've got season objectives. So just very quickly, there is this one, uh, the Turan for rivals, which one of them you have to win, the rest of them you don't have to win. And then they've just brought out player moments, Laporte, and two of them you have to win, the other two you don't have to. But I will be doing that. I might save the packs and uh, show you guys and give you little tips on how I did both of them. Um, that might be a video for next week then. That's brilliant. Right, so let's move on to the 10 packs. Well, I have 13. Uh, what packs do I have? Let me have a little look. Oh, this one is from level nine. And then I've got, what have I got? Rare Electron Place Pack, so that's the daily SBC. And just to let you guys know, upgrade your Twitch Prime Pack. So if you've got Amazon Prime and you've got Twitch account, link them together and then link it to your EA account. It's all done on the um, mobile app of the EA, the FIFA 20. And then obviously we've got that one as well. So I'll save that one till last. We'll open the level nine one first. There is team of the season so far in packs. So hopefully we can pack one. I doubt it, but they sank in the first pack and it's only a board. And we've got an Italian goalkeeper, Turin. It's, oh, what's his name? Surugu, that was it. Couldn't get these out of me tongue. Right, so like I said, I'll skip it if it's not a board. There are only two player packs, and then I've got a two other packs. What have we got? One duplicate. I'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Sorry if I do sell anybody. That is worth any coins. You know me. So, right, two player packs, one gold, one rare. Could get a silver, could get a bronze. But there you go. Highest rated player there is a silver. Uh, the rare player is a silver, sorry. So, obviously, we will skip that. It's just more players back into the club. You know, let me know what you guys are doing in quarantine. Are you playing FIFA? Are you, you know, staying safe and healthy with the family? You know, just just let me know in the comments below. If you'd like me to do anything else, uh, let me know for videos. I'll try my best to get it out to you guys. Uh, again, silver player is our rare player. You know, I see all these YouTubers and contents getting brilliant stuff and I can't even get one one team of the season so far but you know i must have opened over 2000 packs maybe even more and i haven't even got an icon so it's uh, i packed an icon on my nephew's account and he had the account for like two weeks and i packed it for him um i completed an sbc and then i packed it so uh you know it is what it is e-a-r-e-a -E but as we move on, Daniel James there. What have we got left? Seven packs left for you guys. Who we got here? Come on. Nobody in that pack. Come on, EA. At least one walk out. Well, Mario Goetze there. He's 90 rated for season objective. Looks amazing. I recommend you guys getting him. He looks very good. Oh, this is something. Come on, EA. There's the walk out. Come on. Italian, centre-back, centre-back, B. Chiellini, 89, please, 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 yes, there we go, he can go straight into the Icardi SBC, uh, they bought out a 90 rated uh, Icardi, how much is he going for, oh, 40k, that's nice, so yeah, all the lower players from these milestones are going straight into the Icardi, all four of them, straight into the Icardi one just to get rid of them. No need for them in the club anymore as I've got all the upgraded players. Another duplicate there, Mui from Brighton. What we got left? We got two more of these two player packs from the upgrades and then we've got our two plaques and nothing out of that one. We've got our daily SBC and our Twitch Prime pack. So here we go, last two players pack. Come on EA, another walkout would be very nice. And no, I asked for one, you gave me one and I probably won't give me no more. So I'm pushing me luck too much here. Right, rare election players pack. Like I said, daily SBC, uh, community. Uh, oh my goodness, and the top, the rare players are silver. Oh my goodness, this is not good. 
EA, this is not good. Uh, let me just move the. I'm just going to sell them all. Right, I'm, most of them are duplicates anyway. So, Daniel James, I've literally just got Daniel James. And uh, that one we move. Right, this is the Twitch Prime pack. So, if I believe rightly, you get players, and then there should be a player picking side. Now, the player picking side, I've seen big names. I've seen Lozano, the foot birthday, when it was the foot birthday promotion. Um, I've seen Laporte. I've seen Aldevera. So hopefully EA can help me out. This is going to be the last pack of the video. So don't let me down. Come on, EA. Here we go. Come on. And it's not going to be a board or a walkout. But that's not the player pick. There's the player pick. So obviously... Let's just swap these out very quickly. It's an 81 plus. So hopefully. Come on, EA. Give me somebody big, please. 83. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Um, I'll take you because you're easier to link on SBCs. Right, so that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, if you like the video, subscribe, turn on the notification bells. I'll be trying to get out as much content as I can for you guys. Um, I'll do another video after the weekend league. And then I'll do one on Thursday or Friday. I think they run out all the Laporte and the, the Turam. I'll keep all of them packs for you guys and uh, do a video on that for you guys. But yeah, thank you all much for joining. And good night. God bless.